There you are. Welcome back. This is the brand new Artemis from Flash Forge. It's 190 on X, 195 on Y, and 200 on Z or Z. The extruder is direct drive, and that nozzle at the end of it will go to 260C. The bed itself will go to 110C, and it comes with either carborundum glass or magnetic PEI sheet. This is the glass plate, and it is unused because as soon as the machine arrived, I took this off and I put on that PEI sheet, and I haven't looked back since. It came with two one kilogram spools of material, both PLA, one black, one white. It ships from, has phone support from, and has warranty service from the state of California. And at time of filming, it retails for $589 USD. You know, before we get into it, Dan over at the Short Circuit channel did an unboxing of the Artemis recently. And in fact, his printed him a new friend. I've done some prints on the machine and it gave me an idea. We'll get into that in just a little bit, but first I did a chip cube and it turned out great. It was in Flash Forge PLA and it didn't take very long at all. Next up was a 3D Benchy in the same Flash Forge white PLA and it was about an hour 42 if I remember right and it also doesn't look so bad. I was able to get some other prints off the printer and I brought the GoPro around because I used Flash Print 5. Flash Print 5 defaults to having a raft. And when using this machine for these prints, I just went straight defaults. So everything has a raft. So first up is Mini Joel. Have a look at Mini Joel right there. But let's get the raft off. Ready? Oh. Oh, yes. Mini Joel is, of course, by Wexter. Uh, this is printed in Prusament Mystic Green. And uh, Joel Crotch looks, it looks okay. Uh, the rest of the model looks darn decent. Uh, I do like this mini Joel. You know, next I had to print the bearded skull from Roji Studios. People often say it's not an anonymous bearded skull. It's actually the skull of Jean over at Proper Printing. You be the judge. This was printed in hype color filament, and this is Sherbert Taffy. And I think the machine did a great job. Before we go any further though, raft removal. I do think the Artemis reproduced the details in this model exceptionally well. Look at those details. Look at that. Look at that. The face, well, the skull, Smooth, the beard, detailed, the hair, fabulous. It did a really good job with this model. Like, I'm sufficiently impressed with the quality here. This is the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man from Chelsea over at Chaos Cortec. And what's interesting about the TPU 95HF from Polymaker is that you can run it at PLA temperatures and PLA speeds. I mean, it's, it's, it's squishy, right? I can, it's not gonna break. This is the, Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, and he is squishy. The Artemis did okay with this. Now, this material can run at PLA speeds and PLA temperatures, which I did run it at. I actually sliced it for PLA in flash print and then loaded this material. Uh, it doesn't do the best on overhangs. Have a look right there. Have a look right there. Have a look, oh, his bottom. It is not good, he's had an accident. The leg's a little hairy right there and right there. So the material itself, it's not like I was printing really fast. It's PLA speeds, which it does support, but I don't know if the cooling was enough on the machine in order to support this material doing uh, a slight overhang. Uh, flexible material isn't known for doing overhangs very well. Uh, it is flexible though. This gives me an idea. Follow me. Here's my idea. Here's the flexible uh, Stay Puft Marshmallow guy. This is a t-shirt cannon acquired from amazon.com. I'll put a link in the description. Here's the, here's the idea. Uh, I'm gonna put the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man right inside here. And since he's flexible, he'll fit down no problem. But because he doesn't consume all of the barrel, I'm gonna use some uh, paper towel as wadding. Ugga rugga rugga. I don't know what's gonna happen. But it should be fun, whatever it is. Okay, Stay Puff Marshmallow Man is inside. The trigger protector comes off. 
We are at 100 PSI. Three, two, one. There's something you don't see every day. I can't believe that worked. Next though, I mean, Dan over at Short Circuit printed himself a friend. I thought I would print myself a friend. This is the articulated Flexi Skeleton from Flexi Factory. Flexi Factory is uh, a fantastic designer. I've sold on my Etsy shop hundreds of the Imperial Dragons that he's designed. This is the Flexi Skeleton. I may put this in the shop for Halloween. Let's remove the raft. Now it's flex, it's flexible, meaning it's, it's articulated. So we have to be just kind of careful. We don't rip stuff apart. Boy, no wonder that skeleton had some neck pain. Poor thing had a raft on its neck. <laughs> we are laughing. <laughs> the raft is almost like a ghost in itself. Look at this. This is the flexi skeleton from Flexi Factory. Uh, of course, it was on a raft because that was the default in Flash Print 5, and I just went with it, and I used Flash Forge material, and this is a Flash Forge machine, so it did a, it did a fantastic job. Spooky, scary skeletons. Shin shivers down your spine. So all things considered, I think it did a fantastic job with these models, but I'm not Satisfied. I'm not satisfied. Dan over at Short Circuit had himself a friend, and while I do like that flexi skeleton, I don't think it's proper and it needs to be bigger. Luckily, Flexi Factory has themselves a model of that creepy articulated skeleton called the Double XL Skeleton. And I am a member of his Patreon, so I downloaded the models and I thought, let's see if this will fit on the Artemis. Now remember, it's 190 on X and 195 on Y, 200 on Z or Z, but these parts aren't gonna be that tall. So first up, I loaded the head into Flash Print 5, and it was within the bounds of the build plate, and I, I hit slice, and sure enough, there it was. Great, the head is ready. Now the torso, I loaded it up into Flash Print 5 for the Artemis, and it is too big for this bed size. Oh, I was, I was really worried about this because I, I, I know that 190 by 195 isn't the biggest bed available and, and I was trying to fit the double XL skeleton on there. So I had an idea. I brought the torso model into Prusa Slicer and I separated the objects. So the torso itself has the arms and the rib cage and if I hit separate into objects, then all of these things that aren't connected become addressable objects. So then what I could do is take the arms that were too far out and I could manually adjust them to become closer to the rest of the model, essentially reducing the size in X that I needed. Now this is a manual adjustment and these are articulated models that are kind of connected like this. So I did my best. Now in Prusa Slicer, I exported this as a brand new STL. I brought it into Flash Print 5. Fit within the bed dimensions. I hit slice. I saw the preview and it worked. I, it worked. I, I scrubbed through the slices and sure enough, it was still doing that. Victory! Oh. Victory! Next up was the pelvis. Put that on the bed in flash print five. I hit slice, everything was fine there. Good to go. I put the arms on there. They actually come as, a, it's, it's the arms model. So they're, they're right next to each other and it fit diagonal on the bed. I sliced it up. Good to go, arms. Now for the legs. I brought it into flash print five. There's a problem. The legs, even on the diagonal, because they're both in the same model, they are a little bit too big for the build dimensions. And I thought, well, now this isn't like the torso. I wouldn't have to manually adjust something. What I can do is bring this into Prusa Slicer and separate them out and then save each of the legs as their own model. Sure enough, it worked. And I brought in the left leg, I brought in the right leg, and they both sliced up diagonal on the build plate and we were ready to get to printing. Ah, 
And just like that, the prints are done. The head, modified torso, pelvis, both arms, the right leg, and the left leg. All of the parts of the double XL skeleton are now ready to assemble. In order to do this, this is, this is Flash Forge's PLA. So I need a nice flat surface, probably not this one. And I need some PLA gloop. I'll be right back. PLA gloop, all of the parts on this nice work surface. Let's get the wraps off and let's get my brand new friend assembled. I'm gonna be pumpkins, man. <laughs> Raft removal ASMR, I guess. This is the best kind of silly fun I've had in a long time. And with Halloween coming up, it makes sense to have myself a double XL skeleton. <laughs> this, is, this is amazing. Oh, this is fantastic. Look at the size of this. From head to foot, we are talking 69 centimeters. Centimeters, right? Yeah, because it'd be 600, yeah. 69 centimeters, dudes! Yeah! Last bit, gloop it together. Let's do this. Well, this isn't the most exciting glue up, but I'm, I'm sure we've set it to some techno noise. Or Probably some explosions and Vin Diesel saying family. You don't turn your back on family. And just like that, the gloop up is done. And I'm about to pick up and show you a 69 centimeter large skeleton. <laughs> oh my good, look at this, look at this. This is fantastic. Look at this. It's all right? It's all right. All right. This articulated skeleton is the double XL skeleton from the Flexi Factory Patreon. And it is, it is large. This is very large. This is fantastic. It does have two holes right here that you, so you can uh, put a rope around this part of the skull and hang it up for Halloween. So you never know. I think once Halloween hits, we, we might have this up as a decoration. Oh, this is great. Well, thanks to Flash Forge for making this possible. They're the ones that wanted me to take a look at the Artemis, and I had this idea for a crazy project, and I think we've learned a few things. One, and the most important thing, is not to let build dimensions constrain your imagination. There are all sorts of crazy creative ways to utilize build dimensions such as this to make larger than life things such as this. For example, splitting the components up and printing them separately, or using your wicked talent to slightly adjust something that's articulated and then save it out after verification. This is just fun. Thanks again for watching. If you made this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for cause you believe in. Should I go bigger? And as always, high five.